Hello friends, and welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research. We are making some fun paper circuits, and today we are gonna be making a paper circuit scorpion that's gonna go on this toilet paper tube. So there is a template that you can print out, but I wanted to show you guys how we can make this without a template. It's pretty simple because this is gonna be the body of our scorpion, and we're gonna make a tail that sort of comes up and around that will have the light on it, and then you can make claws and legs and all the other stuff. So I thought it was actually a little more fun to do this freestyle. So this part right here won't actually be getting any circuits on it, so you can set that aside for the moment. And this is where we're gonna make some of our circuit stuff. The first thing you wanna do is cut out a tail. Now, when we cut out our scorpion tail, we don't want it to be too skinny because we need to be able to fit this um, battery on there. You can make it as long as you want. We can bend it so that it sort of like has an accordion. I'm gonna start off kind of big. I think I'm actually gonna measure I'm gonna start off as big as the toilet paper tube. But first, I'm just gonna cut a big strip that's as long as the toilet paper tube, or as wide as the toilet paper tube, like this. And now I can sort of shape this tail however I want. And I encourage you to do the same. And depending on how long you're gonna want it, I'm gonna flip mine over so I can try to make it a little bit symmetrical. That's not always my forte, but that's sort of just part of art, I think, is making it not perfect. All right, so I have this long tail right here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to light up this tail. All right, so to light it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up putting my battery just about right there. You can take a pencil if you'd like, and you could actually measure from the bottom. You could make a mark, and then you could go right above that. And that's where my battery is going to be. I don't think you guys can see that very well. Let me see if I can make it better with this guy. So here is sort of the two marks for the two heights of my battery. This part will be our switch. We'll fold it over, and that will make our switch. And then the rest will have the wires that come out here up to the top. So to be able to light something up, I could do it on two sides or one side. You've got to decide how many LEDs you want on this. If you just want one at the end, you could do sort of around this edge and up. If you want a lot though along the line, I'm going to show you a new trick because I think that would be kind of fun to do a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of copper tape and I am going to get it started just like usual. And again, we're always gonna stick it right to the paper, otherwise that copper tape gets really finicky on us. And I am going to just take this guy straight down like this. And when I get into the first piece, I'm actually going to bend it and put it between those two lines. All right, and that will be the bottom. That will be the piece of copper tape that touches the bottom of my battery. Now I need a piece to touch the top of my battery. So I'll take another length of my copper tape and I'm going to make it go on the other side. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't touch so that this piece of copper tape and this piece of copper tape, they don't touch each other, but they're gonna be nice and close and that will let me string some LEDs on there. So I'm gonna put it as close as I can and there's just a teeny tiny gap, and that is just fine. So now I'm going to bring this guy down, and here I'm gonna go the other direction to get around the bottom of the battery. I don't want the bottom of my battery to touch this wire. This wire goes to the top of my battery, and so if I'm worried about that, the thing that we'll do, I'll show you the trick, is to just put some non-conductive tape there. All right, and this part is gonna go down here in sort of halfway between the bottom of your piece and that first battery mark you have. Just like that. And that will make our switch. All right, so we have one that's sort of like a backwards L and then one that sort of comes around. Now this is the one we don't want to touch the bottom of that battery by any means. It will break our circuit. So what you can do to make sure that doesn't happen is especially if you have the clear sort of scotch tape, you won't even notice this on your project, but I'm gonna put a piece of my masking tape 
right here so that when I put the battery here, I know that it's not gonna be touching. All right, now I can fold this up on top of my battery and I'll be able to string LEDs all along this. So let's grab some LEDs out. Maybe I choose green. The long leg is gonna be the leg that comes down over here to the top of your battery. So as I press this in, I can check that this works. Ooh. Hmm. Let's make sure we are touching the bottom and the top of that battery. Interesting. Oh, let's flip it over because you know what? I had my long leg and my short leg all funny. There we go. So this guy lights up. You can see it light up. So I know that it's working. I just need to remember that my long leg goes on this side, which is the side that sort of goes around that battery. All right. So what I'm going to do with my LEDs, I'm going to make them sit straight up. So like they sort of have their legs going out and that will allow them to be sort of faced up as we do this. And I'm going to tape them in always with non-conductive tape. All right, you always want to take those LEDs in with non-conductive tape. That's really important. You can go around your piece if you need to. And now I can add in more of these. So I can take another green LED. I think I'm going to do all greens. If you do a variety of colors, please make sure that you check that they will work together. Sometimes some colors don't work together, so that can be tricky. All right, so I'm going to put this one down. Again, I'm going to double check my long and my short leg. You can also do that by just putting your battery on and making sure that LED lights up. All right, so I'm gonna take another piece of my non-conductive tape, put it down and clip it in. And again, if you have clear tape, that's great for this because you won't actually see it in your project, which can give it a nice finished look for you. So again, I'm gonna bend these almost like those little LEDs are sitting up and down spread the legs just a little bit so that we can get them onto that copper tape and then we will tape them down. And you always tape down with that non-conductive tape. All right, so let's tape these legs in. And I also like to always double check that my things are still working. So now I have these three lights that are working. That's great. I think I have room for a fourth and maybe even a fifth green LED from my scorpion. So I will take this one in. Double check. Oh, that's great. And I think I can get one more in here. All right. There we go. And we will take this in again with our non-conductive tape. Give it a little bit more space. There we go. All right, so this is my switch, but I want my battery to be able to stay in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my non-conducting scotch tape, and I'm just gonna put it right around the corners of that battery, just right around the edges, which will help so that it still makes contact but there's still part of the metal that is exposed so it can still turn on and off. All right, so this is my tail of my scorpion and I think I want it to actually bend this way so that my scorpion tail has this really cool look to it. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually just going to add some bends, some really gentle bends, not where the legs are, sort of around where those legs are. All right, and that will give me a curved scorpion tail, but it still lights up, which is really cool. The battery stays in, and now I can just attach this here, and I can have this scorpion tail that lights up. All right, I'm gonna attach that with a piece of tape. If you have a hot glue gun, that could be a perfect thing for using here. Just makes your project look a little bit more finished. This is really cool though, because like all oh, that scorpion's tail is going to be lit up. And now I need some claws for my scorpion. Maybe I need a head for my scorpion. And I can do that again using my construction paper. So here I can maybe make some claws. 
Maybe if I round this off like this, I could put like a, maybe I just make it look kind of like a crab claw. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Our projects are always what we make of it. You can spend a lot of time on making this look really, really cool. You could spend a little time. It's really what's up to you and everybody's gonna be unique and beautiful. So don't get discouraged. All right, I think I'm gonna accordion fold these. So one going backwards, going forwards like this, which I think will give them a little spring to their step for the accordion claws, which I think will be kind of fun. I can have sort of these creepy claws. And then I can tape those on pretty easily as well. So let's accordion fold this one as well. And you can see how you just really let your imagination run wild with this. I'm going to attach these with my non-conductive tape. Let's find the front of it. And these guys are going to go here. Let's see, I think I'm going to put it this way. It's going to go right on the side of it. I guess I'm going to need some legs. And I don't have pipe cleaners with me, but I think pipe cleaners might be the best sort of legs. I'm thinking my claw might be a little bit too long. That's okay. It could be like, I mean, it's already like a mutant um, scorpion because it's got that mutant tail. So maybe it's just like got mutant arms too. Those are really crazy long arms. There we go. All right. I definitely am going to need the, I love this tail. I'm definitely going to need I think some little pipe cleaner legs at the end. Maybe I'll make a head for it right now real fast. And then we'll add some more decorations later. I think I can go like this. I'm not sure what a scorpion head looks like. I sort of imagine it being really creepy. Maybe like this and maybe I'll put some eyeballs on it. tape this on here as well. I'm going to tape it on the underside so that it sort of hides that tape a little bit. And it's nice because as I tape this it gives that head like a little curvy look. All right and now we have sort of the great start. I think I'm going to put some pipe cleaner legs. I'm going to go see if I can't find some of those guys and we have a great start to this scorpion that's just like this creepy deadly creature. It's got these long arms and crazy tail that can just poke you with all of those lights, which is a lot of fun. It's also nice because you have to press it as you're playing with it for the lights to go on, which is sort of guarantees that your battery will last a really long time. Thank you guys so much for joining us as we made this fun little creature that's a scorpion. We have some other fun creatures that we'll be making it paper, toilet paper tube circuits out of as well, and we hope you will join us for those. Have a great one. Bye, friends.